I remember 17 years ago today, I was at Station 35, located on 1300 East. It was early in the morning, the crews had just gotten up out of bed, we had the TV on, and we saw that the Twin Tower had come down from the airplane and the terrorist attack. Today we remember all those firefighters and people that lost their lives on that day here at the memorial at Sandy City. My father was a police officer um, growing up. He passed away before 9-11, but um, I can't help but think about these first responders, especially on a day like today on National First Responder Day. Um, you know, these are the brave men and women that surround us every day. Um, these uh, individuals who lost their lives going into those buildings, for them it was just a, a call that they take every day. I and mean, it wasn't anything out of the ordinary for them to just get up and go try to save someone's life. I remember September 11th vividly. Um, I was actually at home with my five-month-old child, and I remember turning on the TV and thinking it was um, a replay of the World Trade Center attacks from years before. And then after watching it, I realized that it was real, that something crazy had just happened. And, and I remember holding my child thinking, that this is gonna change everything. One of the things that actually helped me get through it was, was realizing, okay, what do we do now? What do I go, where do I go from here? Um, and I just remembered thinking, okay, I've got to teach my child the best way to keep this from happening again. Uh, I was assigned, or actually in the US Navy. So when I got onto the ship, I was checking in with security that's when I actually found out the true events and the tragedy which had happened on September 11th. It was really a pretty a somber moment for me because I was actually training to become a first responder, to become a, a paramedic and a firefighter. And to see those men rush into the building, save the lives that they saved was very emotional. You got those feelings like, I want to get in there and help and I want to do this and I want to, um, you know, do what these guys did and, and help, help save lives. It was unlike any other. Uh, I vividly remember being watching the news as all this was going on and and just seeing the people st standing there waving their flags and 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 chanting USA and it gave me a great sense of pride and that uh, really steered my life to a, a career dedicated to service. It was amazing to sit and watch the, the heroes run in uh, to help people and that stuck with me uh, ever since is whenever there's a tragedy uh, looking at the people that are going to respond and I try to get that to my kids as well so that they can see that, that, that there's good people in the world uh, even though when bad events happen that good people are there to help as Americans as responders we can be there to to help people in their time of right. need. I remember how patriotic uh, U.S. citizens were after that event, how um, appreciative they were of U.S. Armed Forces, uh, firefighters, uh, law enforcement as well. And so as I look at the uh, men and women of our police and fire department that I now represent and, and work on their behalf, I can't help but feel, again, ex an extreme sense of pride. And I hope you all do too. Um, as you go about your day today and every day. If you can try to extend some small act of kindness to a neighbor, uh, if you can, any act of service we can do, I feel like we need to get back to what is so great about America. That, that glimpse we saw after 9-11, I feel like we can get back to that if we all make a concerted effort.